Hello again, guys. Welcome back. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you guys are feeling this from or watching it. But uh, I just kind of wanted to pop back in as I'm getting ready for my day. And I'm thinking, what is another self-care tip that I think is very valid and worth sharing? And it clicked to me as every day I'm getting ready, I always spray some cologne. And I think that smelling good is very essential to a man's life and his day to day, how he feels, even how he is perceived among other people. So smelling good is definitely important. And I figured I'm going to share my five favorite fragrances. I feel like the common mistake with picking a fragrance is people think that fragrances are good for any time, every time, wear one fragrance, however, whenever. But the way I personally choose my fragrances is the type of day it is, the type of event I'm going to, even who I'm going to see, and what type of impression I wanna make. So some scents might not work for certain environments. So every fragrance I have and every fragrance I choose, I choose it according to what I might be doing that day or what I have planned for that day. Now, anytime you wear a fragrance, it shouldn't be something that overtakes the entire room. It shouldn't overtake what you're doing or what you're wearing. It should just complement you. A fragrance is more of an accessory, or at least that's my opinion on it. So here are my five favorite fragrances. That's a tongue twister. Five favorite fragrances. Five favorite fragrances. Five, ah, tongue twister. Anyway, let's go. My first fragrance I would choose, let's say I'm going to brunch. It's a nice sunny day and um, I'm with my friends, family, acquaintances, whoever, and we're outside and it's just a really, really nice day. And, you, and I don't wanna wear something that's gonna overtake kind of like, uh, you know, the vibe. So if I'm going for something subtle, chill, and not wanna do too much, I'm gonna go with John Barbados Artesian just because of the fact it's very, very classy and it doesn't do too much. But my next fragrance of choice, let's say it's, a date night, or you're trying to make a good first impression with somebody you really like, or you're trying to kind of like reel people in to make them kind of, you know, invite you into their circle. Um, my fragrance of choice for something like that, where it's kind of like an intimate setting and you want to make a good first impression, uh, I would personally highly suggest Periolis Pure Blue. It kind of has this invigorating, inviting scent to it that makes a good first impression for you. Uh, so now we are moving on to my third favorite fragrance of choice. And it is one of my all time favorites. I've been wearing this fragrance for probably about four years. And this particular fragrance is very, very captivating. It really does make a good impression no matter you've known somebody for years or you're meeting them for the first time. I think this is probably one of the only fragrances that are good for any type of vacation, especially if you're going out to a party or you have a really important event and you just want everybody to know that you're that person. Uh, my fragrance of choice for a night like that or a situation like that would be Victor and Roth Spice Bomb. Now, I'm sure you guys have definitely seen this uh, around or heard of it, but it is definitely the fragrance you should invest for if you're a man and you're on the move and you are about your shit. <laughs> this fragrance is really good. It's woody, it's, uh, it's very, very manly, and it does do its job when people smell it on you. The black bottle, there's two of them. There's a light one and there's a dark one like this. This one right here is the, is the one. The light one is cool, it has, it's, it's great, but Trust me, this is the one you want. Now my fourth favorite fragrance. Uh, this fragrance goes back to the 1700s, back when <laughs> they were riding on horsebacks and Game of Thrones type stuff, fighting dragons probably. But no, um, this fragrance is very, very, very great. And it's become probably like my go-to when I'm going out on a very important night and I'm gonna be around very important people and I just really wanna make a good, impression and just be and own the room. So if you wanna own the room and you wanna make sure people know that you have made an entrance, whether they see you from across the room or they shake your hand for the first time, the fragrance you would definitely want to incorporate into your arsenal is the Creed Royal Oud. 
this will literally last you. This bottle would literally last you about three years. It's really, really good. It has a woody scent to it and it would just really make you that person if somebody was to smell this fragrance on you. You could take a shower, put this on, take a shower, and you would still smell like this. But it smells so amazing that you wouldn't want to smell like anything else. So the Royal Oud is definitely something that I feel that if you ever have the means to or the budget, because it is a tad bit pricey, I would definitely say invest in the Royal Oud by Creed because it is that good. Last but definitely not least, my fifth fragrance of choice uh, is from the same family, Creed. And you can wear this every day for whatever occasion. You could be going down to Walmart to go pick up some toilet paper, or you could be going to meet Barack Obama and wear this, and guess what? It would still fit the environment and it would still be classy. Uh, it is the Aventus by Creed. Uh, this one right here, Aventus by Creed, is by far probably my favorite fragrance. I wear it more often than I wear any of my other stuff. Uh, it has this really sweet scent to it and it doesn't overtake, you know, your bravado or your vibe. It, it's, it's, it's fluid, it's very, very fluid. And I think that any man should definitely invest in this. If they're looking to make a first big cologne purchase, I would say invest in Aventus Creed just because of the fact that it does a job. Wherever you go, whatever you do, it will do the job. So Aventus Creed is definitely a must buy. So those are my personal five favorite fragrances. Please feel free to drop or share whatever colognes you guys feel is valid or I should try as well because I'm a cologne freak. I don't like to wear cologne everywhere, but when I do, I'm very particular. So. Um, Check it out, you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon.